What's good everybody, Corbino here, and last week I did the top 10 accurate comic book looks in live action movies, and this week we're continuing that, but we're doing top 10 non-accurate, cor accurately correct, whatever you want to call that. Let's get right into it. Number 10 is cast of the X-Men movies, basically all the X-Men movies in general, besides Deadpool. Now, a lot of them look like they're people, like Deadpool, Professor X, the younger Magneto, I think, versions of Wolverine, but like none of them really s scream out X-Men. I understand a lot of their costumes are really goofy, so you gotta steer away from it, but they didn't even try to do a modern take on them. So number 10 goes to basically all the X-Men in the X-Men movies. Number nine is Batman and Batman and Robin. That's when the Bat Nibbles were introduced to Val Kilmer, but they were really pr uh, prominent in Batman and Robin. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it was really light colored and silvery, purpley type color. Maybe it was the lighting for the movies. But yeah, I mean, those movies, really none of those movies, Batman costumes, in my opinion, did that great. Especially just because of how they had to do them back then. Like, they had that weird rubberiness to them. Like, even with Michael Keaton's Batman. In the first one, the logo wasn't even correct because they didn't have the full rights to it yet or something. Second one, it got better, but then the third one, it went right back down. Fourth one, it was just terrible. That costume was just terrible. Number eight is the cast of the rebooted TMNT movies. Shredder, no. He looks like the Silver Samurai in The Wolverine. Uh, just no. And then when they tried to fix him in the second movie, still no. Bebop and Rock City are really the only things they got right. The Four Turtles, yeah, I, I have no, I, it's not like I really hate how they look. It's just they don't look like anything how they've ever looked, you know what I mean? Megan Fox doesn't really look like how April O'Neil's ever looked. But I mean, yeah, they change it up. They change it up. I know that. Uh, Stephen Amell's Casey Jones looks nothing like Casey Jones. Uh, the Foot Soldiers don't really look like any of the version of the Foot Soldiers. So, I mean, really, they, they struggled a lot with that. Number seven is the cast of Fan Four Stick. Now, that movie was just, whoo, god dang, that movie was terrible. But, like, I think it was Honest Trailer that says it best. The uh, Doctor Doom in that movie looks like a, like a silver sex doll, sex crash dummy, whatever you want to call him. But, yeah, no, he looked terrible. The thing looked terrible. <laughs> really, the best looking costume was human torches because it was you could tell and invisible women's i guess because you could tell they had like bluish to them and they had like these little dashes and they kind of made me think of like the fours or whatever but like mr fantastics was a bunch of garbage like brought together and it just cool oh, that movie was terrible their costumes i understand they're trying to do a modern take but their costumes were just no no thank you Number six is Enchantress and Suicide Squad. Now, not all of these on this list are terrible. Because Enchantress, I really liked all that costume. First off, Cara Delevingne, whoo, yeah, she, I loved how she looked as Enchantress. But also her costume was nothing like Enchantress's because she's like in a green witch costume normally, you know, typical witch type look. And they brought sort of that look to the comics now. They've sort of combined the, the original with the new. But yeah, no, I like that costume. It just doesn't really, you know, scream Enchantress. Number five is Steel and Steel. That's uh, Shaq plays Steel. They need to, what they need to do, I think, is bring Steel to like the CW shows. I could see that doing good, but I don't really. Whew. Steel in a movie, he would have to be a supporting cast. He could not be a solo character. I feel like. But no, he just. It, I've said this before. It, it just looks like bad cosplay. The costume is just terrible. It looks like a bunch of rubbery foam crap that cosplayers would use, but it's a terrible cosplay. It was just, it was not good. It did not scream steel in any way, shape, or form. Number four is Green Goblin in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now with the Green Goblin, the original Spider-Man movie, I've always liked that look. It was a modern take on it. And really, if you would have added on the purple costume to it, it would have looked goofy as heck, but the one in the Amazing Spider-Man, he looked cuckoo for Cocoa Buffs. Like he was getting mutated into a goblin, which I'm pretty sure there are versions that do that. But I don't know, his hair was looking all weird, and like half of him was wearing a, like a suit, but half of him wasn't. He's got pointy ears, and he's just like, ha ha, like breathing and talking all goofy and just creeped me out. But he looked nothing like any Green Goblin I've ever seen, so that's why he's on this. And I, I didn't really hate that look 100%, you know, it just, you know, it wasn't. You know, number three is Deadpool and X Men Origins Wolverine. He looked like Baraka. They ba it was Baraka from Mortal Kombat. There's no doubt that's who it was. It was 
it was a Mortal Kombat X-Men crossover. I promise you, that's what it was. It was Baraka with Cyclops' powers and teleporting. Deadpool, you looked so terrible back then, dude. And before he became Baraka in that movie, he looked good. He was Ryan Reynolds, and he wore like a red costume, and he had his guns and katanas. So I was like, okay, it's like his costume before he becomes Deadpool. I'm down. That was all right. But then they do what they do. Ugh. Number two is Blackheart in the Ghost Rider movies. I don't, did he make it to the second one? I don't remember. Either way, Blackheart is this, like I have an action figure out front. He is this, he looks like a, like a predator mixed with an alien. Like they had a baby. Like he's got crazy spiked predator hair, but he's got the alien look and walk. Like, and he's got a long ass tail. He is not. He, but in, in Ghost Rider, he just looks like a vampire from Twilight. Like, no, that, that's why he made it so far up on this list. A lot of people don't really know who he is, but gosh, he looked terrible. The honorable mention we got going on here is Daredevil and Daredevil. Talk about the movie, not the show. It was an odd shade of red, in my opinion. More of a brick red to color maroon. The leatheriness was very odd. I feel like he barely had any, barely had horns, and it was just, uh, it was just the leather is really what threw me off. The leather and the color to it. Now, number one is Galactus and Rise of the Silver Surfer. I mean, that's an easy one because Galactus is a giant ass dude who's in pink and purple. Yeah, I know that would look goofy, but tone down the pink and purple and crap and blue, make it, you know, darker looking more of with a silvery take maybe and metally but he's a giant that eats planets like they're potato chips he is not a smoking cloud what's up with the movies trying to make clouds a villain stop it i'm done just stop it okay he's not a giant cloud okay and when silver Surfer said it's galactus no 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 he's not stop it stop it ugh ugh she's just makes me so mad Okay, well that's my list. If you guys disagree with anything, which I don't know how you could, with these lists, oh my god, these costumes did not look anything like them. Some of them are good, like Enchantress, but most of them are no thank you. If you think there are people on here that should have, you know, popped up on here, which I'm sure there definitely are, you know, there definitely has to be people out there that deserve to be on here, let me know. Let me know. Yep, yeah, and until next time, stay geeky. What is up, geeks and dweebs? If you like that video, smash that like button, and then smash that subscribe button. And then remember to stay geeky.